one coming to you from my very messy bathroom right now. Maybe not the messiest it's ever been, but it's still pretty messy. But it is that time again. We're going to be spring cleaning my bathroom today. So we're going to be decluttering, reorganizing, and cleaning this bathroom today. Well, over probably the next several days, but today in this one video. So we're going to do our best this year to get everything decluttered, organized, and cleaned uh, just in time for spring, although it feels like freaking winter here today, but it is technically spring. So happy spring, everyone. We're clean in this bathroom. So we're going to get started. Before I get into this though, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video because as I'm cleaning my shower, you're going to see my brand new Billy Pink glittery razor that I'm all excited about. It's giving me major flashbacks to the 90s. Like I feel like I remember my exact clear, sparkly pink razor when I was a teenager. And this is giving me major nostalgia because this Billy one, it's their brand new sparkly pink razor. It is so nostalgic. Here it is right here. Is this giving anyone else 90s, early 2000s vibes because I'm loving everything about it. Anyways, Billy is actually sponsoring this video. So thank you so much, Billy, for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't heard of Billy before, Billy sells all sorts of amazing shaving products for all of your shaving needs. And of course, body hair is totally normal. So there are no rules when to shave or when not to shave. But when we decide to shave and what we decide to shave, Billy has got us covered. And like I mentioned before, this brand new pink glittery razor from Billy. This is giving me so much 90s nostalgia, but unlike my 90s razors, the price point of these razors are on another level. The Billy razors are super affordable and half the price of old school drugstore razors. And they always have free shipping plus no pink tax, which is a tax that women usually have to pay just because the products are pink. And plus another thing I've noticed about the Billy razors that sets these apart from other ones I've tried even recently is I love the space between the razor blades to where I can actually get hair out of the razor blades. So I love that these razors make it easy. It glides over the skin beautifully. I get a nice, comfortable shave. Also, I love the magnetic holder that comes with these razors. So you can just hang it in your shower to air out. And you don't have to set it in a puddle of doom and gloom and slime. You can get the handle, two blades, and the holder for just $10. Anyways, Billy has a steal of a deal for you guys. You can get 10% off orders over $20 if you click the link down in my description box and use my code JADE10. So definitely check out Billy if you've been wanting to step up your shaving game. So anyways, let's jump into this spring cleaning bathroom extravaganza. My shower is already, you can already see the clutter in my shower poking out. So anyways, let's get started. We got a lot to do. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right, before we get started, I wanted to show you the before, what this situation looked like before we started cleaning it. So this year, not only do we have the usual mess, but we also have a whole bottle station, baby station situation, plus a bunch of other stuff that we're not using anymore that needs to be put away. Uh, and then, of course, my laundry pile of doom, which I always have one somewhere, and I chose the bathtub this time. So anyways, I'm starting here. I'm starting with anything that does not belong in this bathroom. So laundry, I'm going to take that down, like at least start the laundry. And I also folded up a bunch of Lucian's old baby towels since he's too big for these now. We used to bathe him in here when he was a little baby. And now he has his own little bathtub and own towels. <laughs> he's growing up so fast. Anyways, I'm also grabbing trash, recycling. There's a big old bottle washer on the floor here that's broken. We got it replaced, but we just had that one sitting there. So I took that out of there. And then any other contraptions that we used when Lucian was a newborn that we're no longer using, I uh, got everything out of here. So once we got that done, we're moving on to some decluttering and I'm starting underneath my sink. And I wanted to say surprise, look at this disaster, but are we surprised? Any of us? I doubt it. If you've watched any of my previous bathroom cleaning videos, you're not surprised by this disaster at all. It's actually been worse. I feel like this is actually an improvement. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going through all my hair products, skincare products, seeing if there's anything that I'm not using or didn't like, and I'll pass it on. But pretty much, I love, I love all of them. I kept them all, I'm not going to lie. Didn't get rid of one single thing. I, I, I'm calling this decluttering, but I, I really didn't get rid of anything. So I'm basically just cleaning and reorganizing this space. I think I did a lot of the decluttering last year, so I feel like I haven't accumulated anything new, and I haven't used up a whole lot either, so I'm kind of in the same place as last year. But we got it all clean up so that counts 
anyways, here I'm just putting everything back and I'll have everything like the shelf and everything linked in the description if you're looking for it. I got, I got it off of Amazon, I believe. Uh, but everything on the bottom shelf, that's all hair product. Top shelf is skincare and then backup hair product. And then I also put my waxer back, my brushes, which I ended up moving my brushes. You'll see here in a bit. And then my other contraption that holds my blow dryer and my flat iron and curling iron. I didn't go through those this time because I narrowed it down last time. I didn't get anything new. So we just kept it the way it was. And here is the before and here is the after. Looking a little better, not a huge difference, but to be fair, it wasn't as bad as it usually is. All right, moving on to these little drawers. I'm just taking everything out, decluttering, wiping everything down, and then I'm going to put everything that I'm keeping back into this drawer. So that's what I'm doing here. And let me just say, I have to put this out there. This whole process of thinking I could conquer my bathroom the way I used to, like do the whole decluttering, cleaning, extravaganza. Uh, it was a very humbling experience this time with uh, a new baby because we didn't have a baby last year when we did this. And uh, I, over the years, I've had some comments and I didn't take them personal. I don't think they were meant to be. There's a before and after, by the way. I'm just jabbing my jaws right now. But some people had said, by the way, this is, we're moving on to my facial towel drawer and my hair wrap, like my towel hair wraps. Anyways, um, some of you have said in the past, that, hey, like it's obvious you don't have children because of how much you can get. Like I used to do this in one day or just a couple of days. This was the most humbling experience of my life because I was like, oh, I'll just be able to do it per usual. No big deal. Uh, Forgetting that I had a crawling baby and a child that does not sleep. This baby does not sleep. <laughs> so there was so sorry about the demonic voice, but something just inside of me came out. Anyways, um, I ended up breaking this up into tiny sections. Like I do underneath my sink, then do a drawer and then do another drawer and just try to do what I could when I could, which by the way, that towel drawer ended up good. That looks good. Anyways, being that I broke it up in such tiny sections, I didn't even get everything done. I wanted to get done. So Dallas's side of the sink didn't get done. My vanity area with my makeup didn't get done, but I really needed to get this area, especially Especially those drawers done because I baby proofed all the cabinets but this drawer I didn't have a baby proof drawer thing so I decided to actually put all my brushes in here I just threw the whole thing in there I, it doesn't look the best but you know what it's gonna be temporary so I'm throwing it in here and then that way I didn't have a bunch of just random like chemical peels and face masks and things in there that uh, obviously my son does not need to get into so we did that anyways moving on to the countertop area I'm just clearing everything off, making some decisions, and then also going through things like I had a bunch of pump parts still. Any ones that were warped or old, I threw those away, but anything that was new or reusable, I held onto those for later, maybe, we'll see. Uh, anyways, moving on, taking everything else off the countertops, preparing to wipe everything down, starting with the mirror. I'm wiping it, wait, no, spraying it first with my favorite mixture ever, which is my vinegar and water mixture. This is my favorite way to clean windows, mirrors, and I fill a bottle a third of the way with white vinegar, kitchen vinegar, whatever you want to call it, and the rest of the way with water. And it's my favorite glass cleaner ever. Okay, moving on to my vanity area, uh, which is also turned into like a little bottle station for Lucian. So I'm putting away some of the stuff we're no longer using, like bottles, supplies, and stuff like that. And I'm also putting away some of my stuff, jewelry, cleaning up just the general area, putting things back in their place. And then I'm going to take the bottles off of this area for now. And that way it can wipe everything down without spraying the bottles with spray. <laughs> so here I am spraying this disgusting refrigerator. I used to keep my skincare in here and now I keep bottles or breast milk uh, combination. Maybe I'll keep skincare and breast milk in here. Who knows? Either way, I needed to clean this thing out. I'm also going to wipe down my vanity mirror and all my little canisters and brush holders, all that kind of stuff. I used to go in with my brush holders and take all the brushes out, wash the brushes, wash the inside of the skulls that I used to hold my brushes. And no, we didn't do that this time. We're just, we're just doing what we can. So I wiped them down and that's as far as I got, but it's okay. It at least looks a little bit better and wiped down my canisters. I got these from Jonathan Adler and then my skull little canister or not canister, little brush holder things are from Michael's. And then my coffin brush holder is from Amazon. I'll have that one linked in the description. I think I can still find that one. Uh, anyways, clearing off the rest of my vanity area. And once again, with that acrylic drawer, usually I take everything out. I wipe everything down on the inside. And I don't think I've used that thing in the year since we 
since we cleaned it out last. So I'm just leaving it. I wiped down the top of it and around the sides. That was good enough for me. But the rest of this, this mirror and the countertop, they desperately need to wipe down. So we're not skipping this step. Wiping down the mirror, I can finally see myself in it again. And we're also gonna wipe down this countertop. I didn't get inside of that vanity. And yes, it's a total mess in there, but I had to pick my battles with this bathroom. And that was one I just, I, I gotta take on a different day. This would normally bother me because I can be a bit of a perfectionist, but I've had to just let things go. And that I'm letting go. Dallas decided the sink I let go. I just targeted what needed to be done and left the things that can be done a different day. So I guess that's a tip I never had before that I can maybe offer now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good at this, but uh, if you also have little kids or just kids in general and you're beating yourself up because you can't get everything done that you want to get done, uh, it's okay. It'll get done when it gets done. Be easy on yourself if you can. I know that's easier said than done but try to be nice to yourself. If not, I'll be nice to you. And I say, you can do it just whenever, whenever you get to it. It's okay. Anyways, here I'm cleaning the sink, scrubbing it with an old toothbrush. That's not my current toothbrush. So don't freak out. It's an old one designated for nasty things only. So I scrubbed the sink area, wiped it down. And then now I'm moving on to the vanity area, wiping down these cabinets and the handles. And I'm not sure what was all over this, but it was disgusting. I don't know if it was formula, water, breast milk. I don't know what had dripped all over this, but it was not good. It was disgusting. So I scrubbed it with my toothbrush. I got in there with all the different sprays and my cloth and everything. And I went and wiped those babies down. And this is where it just starts feeling really good. This is where I start getting motivated. Even if I have to return to this 3000 times, I will if I'm seeing progress. And this is where I feel like the progress starts is when I finally get around to things like wiping down the cabinets or taking things out of the room that I've been needing to take out of there, things like that. Things that have just been sitting around that I don't use. Uh, anyways, moving on to Dallas's side, I didn't get to his underneath the sink area. Mainly that area is backstock product and their cabinets. So they're baby proofed already. So I didn't have to worry about that side. So I, that was another battle that I chose to just leave. But I needed to clean out this whole bottle, baby Brezza. It's basically like a Keurig for baby formula. It is amazing if you, you haven't seen them before. Uh, but we love this thing. Since Lucian started using formula, it's the best thing ever. Anyways, here. I'm cleaning the sink. Shout out to anyone else out there who has a sink where you can't get the freaking stains out. The old fixtures are driving you crazy. Shout out to y'all because here we are in the same boat. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to my disgusting shower, which is not as disgusting as it usually is. I'm slightly proud of myself, but not really because look at this area. This is probably worse than ever. This whole little bench that you're supposed to be able to sit on, but no, <laughs> not possible. So I was set out to fix that. Started by spraying everything down. I used Dawn dish soap and vinegar, white kitchen vinegar and water mixture. I used those two together. And then after that, after I wiped everything down, I went in with the pink stuff and tried to scrub off some of this purple shampoo that got everywhere and stained this whole thing. This is another thing I will never have. What is this? Porcelain, marble, whatever in my bathroom ever again. It stains like my entire bathroom is stained and I can never get it out. Okay. Moving on to my shower heads. I took some white kitchen vinegar and poured it in a Ziploc baggie and then tied it to the shower head. I keep wanting to call it a faucet. It's a shower head. And then that way it can break down those hard water deposits. And then yeah, it opens up all those little holes. So then all the water can come out. Anyways, we did that. We're letting that sit for a while. And while that's sitting, I'm going to wipe down the rest of my shower. I'm spraying it with that Dawn dish soap and then vinegar and water combo. You can put it in like one of those. I've done this before where you put the vinegar and water and then or just vinegar and then Dawn dish soap in like one of those little scrubbers that has, you know, like a what am I thinking of? Like where you wash dishes, like one of those scrubbers where you can put soap in there. You can put some Dawn dish soap and vinegar in there and just do it that way. But I like the Dawn power spray stuff. I feel like it sprays easier and you can get it where you need it. So I'm using that and then I'm going in with a little toothbrush and all the little detailed areas. And I am so mad at this. Okay. If you watched my 
what was it? My bathroom cleaning video last year. I had one of those spin brush things. It's like a spin brush cleaner that has this like electrical spin. And I loved that thing. It was amazing. It got all my grout clean. It was super easy to use. It took seriously minimal effort. It was amazing. I have no idea what I did with it. I don't know where I stored it. I know where I kept the, sh like not the shower, sorry, the, the scrub heads. I found the scrub heads, but I have no idea where the actual wand is. No clue. And you can't do anything without the wand. So I had to go in and just use elbow grease and go to town. I was going to order another one, but I ran out of time and I really thought I was going to be able to find it, but I just didn't. So here I am scrubbing everything, probably needed the cardio anyway. So here we are scrubbing the entire shower with this brush and then uh, rinsing it off. So I do rinse everything off. And then for the floor, I used that pink stuff and really got in there. I don't like the pink stuff as much in the grout. I don't find that it works like the Dawn and vinegar. So I ended up going back in with Dawn dish soap and vinegar. You'll see here in a minute in this disgusting area. This is where water just stands there. And also dog hair and whatever else gets dust gets in this area. It is so gross. It's just like where you kind of stand and dry off, but there's no drain, no nothing. So it's just so gross. So I'm spraying it down with Dawn and vinegar and scrubbing it. This was the scrubber I was talking about earlier where you can, it's like a, actually like a dish scrubber, but you can fill it with Dawn and vinegar and go to town. But yeah, I'm using this to scrub all the little teeny tiny areas. This drives me crazy every time I complain about it. Every time we clean this bathroom, all those little tiny itty bitty grout lines. Oh, they drive me crazy. But yeah, anyways, here's the before and what it looked like how nasty it looked. And here's the after. It took so much effort though. I highly recommend the electrical spin brush thing because that thing got the grout lines clean, so clean. And it was so easy. Anyways, anyways, here I'm installing some new shelves. Look at me MacGyvering this whole situation. I was so excited about it uh, because we can actually use the bench of doom. If you saw the bench of doom before that was covered in product, no longer we now have these shelves. And I'm so excited. I have my variety of body washes. Does anyone else like having different scents to choose from? I love that. Uh, also my shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, the whole thing all on that new shelf. All right. Anyways, we're back to the shower head. We're taking off this vinegar. Look how clean that is. No effort whatsoever. Just fell right off. Whatever hard water just fell right off. We're also going to wipe down the faucet area and yeah, here is the before of the shower, not looking its best, but not looking its worst. And then the after looking so nice. It smells so fresh in there too. Like I can smell it through this screen right now. All right, moving on to the tub area is where we're going next. I'm first dusting the tub, any dust, dog hair, whatever got in here, I'm dusting it off and then I'm going to stop up the stopper and fill up the tub. We're going to clean the jets uh, because, yeah, I clean these once a year usually, but we don't really use the tub a whole lot, but we did use it when Lucian was a baby. I did clean it every night after he would use it, but uh, after he stopped using it, I just kind of neglected it, not going to lie. So here we are. We cleaned out the jets. I'm now spraying it, wiping it down and getting it all nice and clean, drying it off. Here I'm just climbing into the tub and <laughs> drying off the floor of the tub. You got to do what you got to do. I didn't want to lean over that thing. No, we're just making it work. We're just shuffling around uh, and continuing to wipe down this. And why is this the longest wipe down of a tub that's ever existed. I'm not sure, but I'm keeping it anyways, because why not? Why not watch cleaning the tub extended version? <laughs> and then here I'm doing some impressive acrobatics to dry the tub and then we're done. Okay. Moving on to the toilet area. Okay. I filmed this whole toilet section and the whole thing was out of focus. It was focusing on the back of my head the whole time. So I dropped in this footage from last year, just so you could get an idea. I did the same exact procedure. So I took one of those toilet wands and I cleaned the baseboards, the floor around the toilet. I also used some of that clean freak to clean the toilet around the toilet, wherever I didn't get with the toilet wand. I also used one of the toilet wands inside of the toilet, scrubbed and swished that thing around. And then eventually, what am I doing now? Well, we're still scrubbing. Cool. We get it. Okay. 
now. Okay, we also wiped it down. And then when do I put the toilet seat back on? Ever? It's still not back on to this day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I put it back on. Here it goes. Putting the toilet seat back on. Then putting a bag over my little trash can. Putting my little toilet paper little area back. And like some extra toilet paper and some booty wipes. And we're good. Okay. Now we're pulling up the rugs and taking those down to the wash. And I'm going to wipe down Dallas's side of the cabinet area that we didn't, we didn't clean inside of the cabinet. So I'm just now getting to the cabinets before I get to the baseboards and to the floor. So I'm going through wiping these down getting the little nooks and crannies and the handles and everything and I'm just wiping this down with a general all-purpose spray just the Miss Myers. I love wiping down this area with Miss Myers because our Mrs. Myers is that what it is whatever I'm I've been watching too much Miss Rachel but Mrs. Myers, Miss Rachel. Uh, but it smells really good. So I like cleaning the, the fronts of the cabinets with that. Anyways, now we're getting to the gross. Look how gross this little area is down by the floorboards. Not all of the baseboards are like this. But this little area, I don't know if it's just because our towels hang here or we like we wipe our hands, you know, so we have wet hands. And that's why it gets grody over here. Because this area, for example, isn't as bad. The baseboards. Well, there's some hair floating around like a tumbleweed. But you know what I mean? Like it's, it, you know, not as bad. Was that spider that just crawled out? I don't think so anyways um so now we're we're just getting all the baseboards and nooks and crannies and then we're also going to go in with the handy dandy oh we were already in with the handy dandy dyson but we're going back in with the handy dandy dyson and we're vacuuming the floors preparing to steam clean the floors oh no first we're going to wipe down the baseboards thank god this is disgusting so we're wiping down the baseboards with the all-purpose spray. Once again, I love the smell of it. So it just makes everything smell nice and fresh. I was using the orange clove scent by Mrs. Myers, which is my favorite seasonal scent. So you know it smelled like freaking fall in this bathroom, which is my favorite ever. So I'm spraying it all down, wiping it down with a wet cloth or damp cloth, not wet, but damp. And then wiping it down again with a dry cloth just to make sure it's all nice and dry. We don't want any water damage. Okay, now I'm going in with my steam cleaning mop thing and it's like a Bissell steam cleaner I'll try to find it and link it in the description love this thing and I like to spray the floors once again with just some all-purpose spray just to get a nice fresh scent going and then I go in with my steam cleaner and then the steam cleaner sanitizes and all that stuff I didn't go into all the little grout lines although I'm sure Lucian would have found that hilarious and probably would have tried to follow me around but I did steam clean the floor of the shower just to get that extra little sanitization going here I'm putting back my clean rugs and what else are we doing oh we're done oh man that went by quick okay here's the before looking like a total disaster and here is the after definitely cleaner we still have a little bit of clutter on the countertops but uh as long as we're doing bottles it'll probably be there but this just feels so much better now that it's done it took a million years to conquer but we did it so thank you so much for hanging out and cleaning with me and being my accountability partner once again in this decluttering, cleaning extravaganza that is my life. <laughs> Hopefully one day we'll get it together. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Let me know if you're working on spring cleaning anything right now, any areas of your home. Also, any tips that you have. If you have kids or maybe you're a caretaker or if you have a demanding job, Whatever it is, let me know any tips you have on taking it little by little or whatever you do or just giving yourself that grace. Whatever it is, whatever tips you got, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.